What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is having a blessed day. The weekend is coming up. But if you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button and turn your notifications on. Don't be a hater your whole life. Today we're gonna go over the fastest method, full breakdown on how to make thousands and thousands of stubs. First, we gotta give a shout out to the MVPs. We're gonna give a shout out to Michael White. He's been a supporter for a while now. Shout out to you. Shout out to Joey Howell. Shout out to you. And also shout out to my boy Shrek Smells. If you want to be an MVP, just make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Following me for free on Twitter or Instagram. It's going to be big giveaways on both of them. So you want to follow me over there. And also at 9,000 subscribers, 150 subscribers away, we're giving it away two $50 gift cards, so stay locked to this channel and let's get into today's banger. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FAT for 5% off your order. All right, so as you can see on the top left of the screen, I gave y'all a video yesterday with 20,000 stubs. By the end of the video, I was at about 34,000 stubs. So then I did another hour and a half yesterday, got up to about 90 thousand stubs before I turned the console off and then today I started flipping a little bit more now I'm up to hundred and twenty five thousand stubs real fast so if you want to make stubs make sure your notifications is turned on this channel do it right now we're gonna start our filter off with the 95 to 96's because it's a lot of different cards in between this that you can flip so right here you can buy the card it's 1100 gap they're going to take 600 off the top that's going to leave you with 500 stubs that's not the gap that you want you want to be looking at 700 to 900 i tell y'all that every single time so remember i started at about 130,000 stubs so right here the 95 overall it's about a 2200 gap and some change okay so when you sell this off 2200 you're going to take 1400 off that's going to leave you with about 800 stubs the order that you are looking to invest in is the 12,451 52 range okay so we'll do 12,452 okay so the seller is going to get 11,000 in return Right now you can sell them for 14,975 and I'm gonna let y'all see how the stubs accumulate without cutting the video out. So we're gonna buy him right now. Now we are down to 100,000 stubs, okay? So I'm gonna go get about four to five cards at that price. Now you can see the price just inflated. So the gap between the 13,550 and the 14,750 is way slimmer than what you want. So once your card get pushed out, that 14,000 on the left side might go down a little bit. And that's what I tell y'all about the patience. A lot of y'all was asking me, how do you know what price to buy them at? And how do you know when to sell them? I'm showing you right now. If you can get them for 12,000, any type of number and sell them for 14,000, any type of number, you are making 650 to 900 stubs on every single flip. Now, if you stay in this screen, you won't see the profit that you are making, but if you back out, you will start seeing your profit accumulate. So I'm gonna do a few cards between the ones that I bought. I'm gonna sell a couple back and I'm gonna show y'all the difference. All right, so we back on the marketplace and you can see my cards is starting to sell. I'm getting 13,048 back in return. Now, remember I was buying them for about 12,200. As you can see in the top left corner, after being on the market for about six to seven minutes, being a little patient, if you buy the cards in the 12,000s, make sure you sell them back in the 14,000s and you can make easy, easy stubs. So we started the video at like 134, 135. I already made about 30,000 stubs, 28 to 32,000 stubs in about seven to 10 minutes. Now, if it takes you 15 minutes for your cars to sell or for you to get the price that you want, be patient, it won't hurt anything. So right here, we'll do 96, we'll do 95, we'll go to All-Star first, just to see what other gaps that they might have up. So right here is the smaller cards, but you are paying less of a price. So a 1300 gap, 13 minus 600 would be 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 700 stubs, per flip that you would be getting on this card. I'm trying to break it down for y'all very, very easy. 
So if you look at my active orders, you can see I'm still trying to buy another Otani at 12,452. So if you can get Otani for 12,452, 12,600, 12,700, you have a chance to make almost a thousand stub profit on every single flip. Right here on the Hendrix, I'm trying to buy him for 5,354. Now people have him at 5,600, so it's only like a 900 gap in between. Once you take 600, off the top you left with 400 stubs so guess what i will go in there to my active orders and i will close this out and then i will try to flip him a little later what that is going to do is going to add my stubs back to my count and i will go back into the filter and find some more mistakes as you can see in the top right corner another shohei otani was completed so they sold them to me for twelve thousand. so they just sold the otani to me you've seen that in the right corner and now it's a 2300 gap like i said it fluctuates so now i can go back and i can get two more of these for even cheaper so i would do 12002 just to be the highest card so 12002 i posted that order and i want to keep it at 12002 so i'm gonna come back do it again boom two of them at the top now the next gap is 12,000 and then it's a 400 and something gap under that so the chances of somebody selling that to me is real real good now, them people a little lower than me, they are getting a bigger profit margin. But as long as the buy stays 14,397, 14,000, 14,100, you're going to be making 850 to 1,000 stubs on every single investment. If you understand exactly what I'm talking about, drop a like on the video. We started the video off with about 130,000 stubs using the same method over and over and over, working the market. Now, once everything sell or everything's go through, we would be at about 185, 190,000 stubs. That would be a 40,000 profit live in the video in about nine to 10 minutes of video if you ain't dropped the like on the video already i don't know what you're waiting for i'm showing y'all how to get stubs y'all can complete the otani set in about two and a half hours of grinding and working the market it's all love if y'all rocking with me you know i got y'all make sure y'all do y'all daily moments and they just dropped the new acuna he should be able to play on everybody's team. You can get the card for free. All you gotta do is collect all the all-stars. If you don't have them, use this flipping method. Get yourself some stubs up to about 80, 90,000. Get the extra players that you want and get that Acuna and put them on your squad. Let's get it.